birthday celebration. We had an AMA yesterday on the official day, uh, but uh, today is our Twitter space, and we have a bunch of stuff to go over. We have, uh, we're going to keep it super casual, uh, and as we go, if anybody wants to uh, request to come on and, and speak uh, or ask a question or maybe give a bit of a an experience of what you've had uh, at EMP and our entire uh, what we call mothership, uh, all of our, our EMP ecosystem, which is now uh, EMP, soon to be EMP Fusion, uh, SparkSwap, which we'll talk a lot about today as well, uh, and the uh, uh, coming L1 Dex as well. So, uh, but to get started, I just kind of wanted to do an intro. Again, for those of you that are new, um, uh, we have about 40 people here, so I see a lot of familiar faces, but uh, there may be some new newcomers as well. Uh, my name is AJ Brockman. I'm fully doxxed. Uh, you know, I've been uh, a crypto veteran. I've been in the space now uh, going on 10 years, which, uh, again, is just crazy when you think about it. But um, uh, I'm a professional artist uh, in real life, uh, as well as a, a serial entrepreneur. Uh, I've had multiple real world businesses uh, here in South Florida. Uh, I live in South Florida and uh, uh, my claim to fame um, that really spearheaded and skyrocketed my career was uh, I did a digital painting for Barack Obama back in 2012. Uh, I'm a digital artist. I worked in the corporate world as a graphic designer uh, for many years and uh, an art director, uh, but I just got kind of burned out on that uh, and I always wanted to work for myself. Um, so I decided to focus on my art full time. Uh, and that was, again, what really skyrocketed my career. Uh, after that, I had, you know, uh, a lot of notoriety. I was getting $10,000 uh, or more per commission uh, after Obama. And uh, then I opened my own art gallery and craft beer bar uh, in South Florida. That was right when the, uh, you know, uh, craft beer craze uh, took over. Uh, and, you know, just kind of continued to, uh, grow and develop uh, as an entrepreneur from there. Um, we actually bought the entire shopping center that the business was in. Uh, and then I ran a 500 person music venue called the Kelsey Theater. Uh, that was a, an old movie theater that we turned into a, a, a music venue. Um, and so I've had a lot of experience. I've done a lot, mainly in the, again, arts and entertainment industry, uh, but I've always been passionate about crypto. And all the while, uh, again, I guess I, I left out another pretty uh, important detail. Uh, I've been in a wheelchair since I was two years old. So uh, I have a, a, a neurological condition called spinal muscular atrophy. And uh, it's very similar to ALS, uh, a lot more people have heard of ALS, um, but uh, or Lou, Lou Gehrig's disease, uh, and it basically just means that my my I have full feeling, uh, even though I'm I'm pretty much a quadriplegic, um, but my muscles are just super weak. But because of that, I've always used computer technology uh, to be independent, and you know never let that hold me back. And on that journey, you know, uh, I discovered crypto and. Uh, I've said this in some other interviews that I've done, but I feel like crypto truly is uh, the great equalizer in terms of financial freedom. And, you know, technology for me uh, has been an equalizer. Uh, again, being able to be extremely successful um, utilizing technology. And that same uh, ethos applies to crypto. And I fell down the rabbit hole, just like many of you, uh, I'm sure, did when you first heard about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and how we can, you know, be our own bank and not have to rely on the middleman uh, and really take control of our financial freedom. And so all of that really parlayed and compounded into going full time crypto uh, about, uh, well, I, I mean, again, I've been in crypto 10 years. Um, I still have the businesses in real life, although we have sold the plaza and I'm really transitioning into, uh, you know, truly being crypto full time. Um, but uh, it, it's always been my focus. And moving forward now with EMP and SparkSwap and all of our uh, entire ecosystem, uh, we're building something that is going to be here for the long run. And we always pride ourselves on transparency and uh, really, you know, being a different DeFi protocol. 
we're not fly by night. We're, we don't run things like a, uh, you know, uh, like a frat house. <laughs> we run things like a real business. And those are all the little things that make us, you know, very, very different. So that's a, a, a real high level overview of where I came from. Uh, right now, again, uh, LA is our, our second in command. Uh, we have a pretty small team now. Uh, again, uh, some of our original team members have come and gone. Um, that's just the you know uh, uh, growth of a crypto project. Um, but LA, I don't know, maybe why don't you give a little intro on how you first heard of EMP uh, and how you actually came became part of the team uh, as, as starting as a community member? Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know if I've ever told this part of the story before, but it just kind of popped into my head. So I will. Um, I came across EMP at a time in my life where very much I needed um, a pivotal change to happen in my life. Um, one door was kind of closing um, and I was looking for something new, some new form of inspiration to lead me down a new path, uh, a new career path, a new, uh, a new path in life that would inspire me and get me fired up and motivated again. Um, cause I've always been someone that loves to work hard and have a goal to work towards. Um, and, uh, I've been, I had at the time been working for myself for five years and in a uh, very non-traditional uh, sales type commission jobs before that. Um, and so uh, going back to then looking at the job market and looking at what was out there, it literally looked like um, reading a foreign language to me. I'm not a nine to five in a box kind of person. And uh, I started looking uh, at jobs online for the first time in 15 years. Um, and I was like, none of this feels right. And so I actually emptied my retirement savings and put it all into EMP. And, uh, I was like, I'm just going to make this crypto thing work. I knew nothing about crypto at the time. <laughs> um, I, uh, took a course and then I just obsessively started learning everything that I could on YouTube every day and every night and just started taking all these notes and learning. And I just fell so in love with EMP. Um, I sat and listened for a few weeks before investing. I wasn't just like a total nutcase that just like finds something and empties their, <laughs> their retirement the next day or something. But um, I looked at my retirement savings and I said to myself, like in the last five years, this has grown by about $1,500. I'll never be able to retire off of this. So if I lose all of it, I'm really not, it's really not a big deal because it's just sitting there anyways. So I might as well make something of it. So um, I just fell so in love with EMP because I got into a couple projects at the beginning and it just stood out to be so incredibly different. And AJ was the reason for that. Just those nightly AMAs, I, I just really looked forward to being on them every night. I really looked forward to listening, asking questions, learning more. And it just felt like being a part of a community, a family right away. And uh, I remember it, I sent him a message after about two weeks and just said to him, I want to help, uh, like, let me know anything that needs to be done. I'd love to, you know, help out in any way to help the project grow. And I never really heard back because I'm sure he received like, you know, a couple hundred messages a day and he didn't know who the hell I was. But um, I just kind of kept sticking around and kept putting my hand up. And uh, before long, I was doing a whole bunch of odd jobs <laughs> around just volunteering um, doing the merch and doing the transcriptions of all of the AMAs and uh, which at the time they were like two and a half hours long. So I'd spend all day doing them um, and just a bunch of other stuff. And then I just kind of started to see what areas we could grow in if we had more people doing, spending more time doing things. And 
I got so excited to help out more and more. And uh, AJ and I got to know each other more and some of the other team members. And um, my role just kind of grew until about, I don't know, six or eight months later, um, AJ asked me to be a part of the team. And it felt so right. And um, it, it was exactly what I had been manifesting and asking for that spark of inspiration to take me in a new direction and exactly what I was needing because every single day I wake up so excited about what we're doing, what we're building, about all of you and, and, you know, getting to do this together. And I truly, truly believe in what we're building, even when things were, you know, tough and a struggle for a while. And there was a lot of negativity and a lot of disbelief I my belief stayed 100% there because I know exactly where we're going and and what we're doing and what we're building and to see I said to AJ yesterday to be starting this year halfway up the mountain already feels amazing (laughs) because we've come so far in the last two years and this year is going to be absolutely monumental so Um, I couldn't be more proud of where we've come from and more excited about where we're going. I love it. Absolutely, LA. So, yeah, and again, I mean, that is a a very personal story that uh, applies to you. But the the crazy part is that I think that a lot of our core members and the people that have been here for these two years share a very similar story. And to me, that just proves that uh, everybody that has stuck around and, and does believe in the protocol, you know, they're here for the right reasons. And, you know, uh, that, that can't be measured. I mean, again, there's so much that comes to a crypto project other than healthy economics and, you know, new buying. And, and there's a lot of psychological aspects. Um, you know, obviously we need people that actually uh, want to be here and believe in what we're doing. Uh, and again, I, I think that you exemplify all that. And, you know, one of the really key points of our success is that I do believe we are the most passionate team out there. I know a lot of other teams say that, but we could have given up a hundred different times. And that is just not who we are. And, you know, uh, when we started EMP, again, just to give a little bit more background, this was, you know, during the end of the last uh bull run obviously we didn't think uh that this bear cycle would be as as bad or as long as it was uh had we had a crystal ball and known that uh we may have done things a little differently but um uh, i again have been in countless protocols again i don't everything from play to earn gaming to you know degenerate roi dApps to you know uh passive income staking protocols you name it and so for me, I, I, I've always wanted to start a project, but I didn't want to have a meme token. I didn't want to have a pump and dump. I wanted to have something that was sustainable. And, uh, you know, again, hindsight is twenty twenty. Uh, obviously, we did a hell of a job um, with the original EMP format and the seniorage protocol. Uh, we settled on a seniorage protocol, uh, again, uh, utilizing the tomb economics. Uh, which uh, I I did extremely well in, uh, again, before we even started EMP. And we thought that we could um, not only improve on that model, but also give exposure to Ethereum. And that was really uh, the the big change in what we did uh, when we started with EMP. Um, And obviously, you know, we, we were uh, uh, affected by the runaway inflation and the eventual downturn of the overall markets. But all that being said, the fact that we, and we'll get into some, some uh, numbers here in a minute on how successful EMP uh, was and, and will be again, um, but we were able to do an incredible amount of uh, things, even with all of that you know, uh, uh, uphill battle uh, of of the markets and, you know, the inflation. And so that, again, the reason I bring it up is that it's a testament to uh, the development team that we have, the, the community that we have, the dedication and the never give up attitude. And like Ellie said, I mean, we, we've spent a, a countless amount 
of brain power and and development time to really uh uh reverse that uphill battle and we're already starting halfway up the mountain uh and you know we're we're only what uh uh 19 days into the new year uh and and this year is just going to be so incredibly uh prosperous for all of us and we have the all the infrastructure set up now uh with actual revenue streams other protocols feeding EMP uh, and EMP fusion, uh, massive amounts of new volume and new uh, excitement uh, around uh, our ecosystem, uh, and obviously L1 Dex coming uh, as well, which is just yet another uh, revenue stream. And so all of this is what you know we're excited for. Like Yella said, you know we try to be as transparent as we can. We've done over 600 uh, AMAs, probably even more now. Uh, in the first year, it was daily, uh, and most of those were two hours plus, which you know is a lot of of talking and a lot of education. Um, and that was another part of our our uh, ethos. Like again, for me personally. You know, I wanted to start a protocol that actually brought value above and beyond financial uh, incentives. So we really have heavily focused on the education portion. And regardless of ever you ever made money or not in EMP, the goal was that we made you a better crypto user. And I think through our academy and the daily AMAs um, and just sharing you know, my my uh, OG crypto wisdom uh, with all of you. I hope that it has made uh, a lot of you better crypto investors, uh, whether it's within EMP or not. Uh, the idea is that, you know, we, we want to set everybody up for success. And, you know, I think that, you know, if, if you got involved in crypto two years ago when we started, I think that your portfolio is set uh, to absolutely explode uh, in this next bull run, you know, regardless, like I said, whether you're invested in, in EMP or not. And, you know, we're, we're just trying to, again, uh, uh, make, make better DeFi users. And that is, again, I don't want to use the word legacy, but uh, that is the impact that I hope that we've had uh, even outside of financial gain. Uh, with EMP. So, uh, yeah, awesome. All right, Elliot, any other uh, intro uh, things you want to cover? I know we have a lot to go over, but um, any any other questions for me in terms of, you know, why we started or uh, maybe some favorite moments uh, over the past two years? And we'll go into some, some metrics. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So for me, I know, uh, you know, one of the major milestones was... Uh, we had over 50 back-to-back -back days of boardroom prints, which for those that, you know, obviously once we uh, lost PEG, we were no longer printing in the boardroom. But those of you that remember, uh, we were the longest running consecutive uh, printer of, of uh, a senior protocol in terms of the boardroom uh, ever. And so we had 50 days of continual back-to-back -back boardroom prints. Uh, the infamous Peggy dance uh, was uh, uh, something the community looked forward to. Uh, LA, you want to tell everybody what the Peggy dance was? Uh, for those that don't know. Yes, the Peggy dance. So every time the boardroom would print, because we'd be above uh, Peg or Twop, um, everyone would fill the chat with their favorite gifts of like, stupid stuff or people dancing and it would just be so much fun and so funny perfect yeah so uh, that's uh again something that we all celebrated in and uh it was just a great way to rally the community and you know there was times i know you know uh at one point the treasury was printing uh almost twenty thousand dollars a day uh, uh which again just shows the amount of, of economic uh, impact that the protocol had. And at one point, we had 50 million TVL, which, uh, again, uh, eShare, our governance token, and share token, uh, uh, which you would stake in the boardroom to earn more EMP. Uh, you know, we had all-time highs of literally thousands of dollars 
uh, per e-share. So uh, we had some incredible success. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, like I said, we were impacted by the bear market and there are a lot of fundamental things in seed generation protocols that we have learned uh, that, that can be a negative impact. And so now we're transitioning into uh, EMP fusion, which uh, we'll talk a lot about uh, towards the end here. But um, again, this is just to highlight some of our incredible milestones. Uh, another incredible milestone was our Sentinel NFT series. So uh, LA, again, you wanna go over that real quick? Yeah, so we set a record for the um, single biggest mint on BNB chain. So that was a really exciting day. I remember that day like it was yesterday. Um, for sure. All of us got up at like 5 a.m. And we were all on a voice chat together for hours. Um, what? How long was that mint? It was like, what, like six hours or something? Yeah, totally. So we, we did it very unique where uh, we, we did it in tranches, basically, where uh, either we sold out uh, each round or whatever we didn't sell out uh, ended up getting burned. And uh, we, we, just, we just kept selling out every round. So yeah, it was once an hour for like six hours. <laughs> it was crazy. So we were on a voice chat together for like the full six hours and uh, we were just going crazy. And, um, you know, towards like the final three rounds, it took more effort, obviously, to sell out and we would just be going crazy, like uh, blasting it out everywhere and hyping everyone up and we were hyping each other up and it was a really fun day. Um, that personally was my first NFT mint that I was a part of and uh, it was a fun day. It was, a, it was really cool. For sure, hundred percent, and yeah, and the Sentinels are still paying. I know uh, a lot of you have been in a holding pattern. We are updating that contract still uh, to reward uh, each Airbnb, and so uh, you're all still earning. In the meantime, we should have an update on that. Uh, all of our efforts have been a hundred percent to Fusion and uh, Spark Swap right now, but uh, Sentinels are still, uh, you know, uh, earning every single day. So pretty amazing. Uh, and that was definitely one for the record books uh, on BSC. So, uh, and then speaking of NFTs, uh, one of my favorite moments and and series was our Defender NFTs. Uh, that was a really cool way for us to highlight some of our key community members. And LA, I know uh, you know uh, I, I've been so busy running the protocol and you know being a dad and, and doing everything uh, with the businesses that. Uh, I wasn't able to create the artwork from scratch, but we definitely had a input uh, into the art direction. And Ella, you absolutely killed it uh, with all those. So yeah, you wanna talk a little bit about the Defender series? I had so much fun working with the artist uh, who did the original sketches and then um, AJ took all the characters and finished them off with the backgrounds and the borders and some little touches on the actual characters. If you look at Stinky Beans' um, uh, profile picture right now, that's one of them. But we just had so much fun um, designing them. Uh, all of us team members kind of came up with the concepts for them and you know, chose who we would feature. At the time, we kind of just picked the admins who were the most uh, kind of active in our community and helping out or some of the most uh, prominent community members at the time. Um, I would love to one day do a, a second round and feature so many more of you. That'd be fun. Um, but yeah, it was, it was so much fun designing those and going back and forth with the artist. And I think they turned out so well. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. And we, again, we, we have all these uh, secondary contracts that are built on top of our platform. And the NFTs, again, uh, are part of that. You know, we didn't want to just have uh, an NFT that's a pretty picture. We wanted to have an NFT that actually has uh, real value and, and uh, utility. And so, again, with Sentinels, Defenders, and uh, our, our power-ups uh, on ETH, I mean, all of those were uh, extremely successful and helped, you know, feed 
EMP again. Everybody thinks that you know uh, the money uh, went to in the the treasury or the debt fund, but no, that that money was utilized to continually feed uh, both detonator and reactor and uh, you know uh, other parts of our ecosystem, where uh, all of that stayed within you know uh, the 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 ecosystem value. So uh, and again, we 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 also. Uh, uh, had some incredible success with Detonator. Uh, that was the first uh, ROI contract of its time that really uh, capitalized on daily interaction. Uh, we've seen other people try to uh, reverse engineer Detonator. Uh, I know, you know, it's kind of a hot take because some people that went a little too heavy uh, may be upside down in Detonator. Uh, but it, we are working on, you know, uh, resurrecting those contracts um, and really uh, not only allowing you to yield from those through EMP fusion, um, but also implementing some V3 uh, upgrades as well. And so uh, that combination will hopefully allow those contracts to begin growing again. And those of you that still have positions uh, in uh, Detonator Reactor uh, or any of the DOS products um, uh, will see you know, uh, a resurgence in those when we go to fusion. And so uh, uh, we also have, you know, people that are still interested uh, in, you know, detonator as a service. Again, that's what we call it DOS. Um, uh, and so, you know, all the fundamentals are there. Uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, because of the, the downturn in the market, uh, people just kept claiming out of those and that's what reduces the pool balance but with our v3 changes and the way that you're able to uh utilize your your detonator positions to feed fusion uh we're really excited for that but uh i mean detonator was the absolute talk of the town uh in all of DeFi for many months uh so that was another really uh you know uh major milestone uh in our in our history uh, and we, we have every intention of resurrecting those as well. So, um, yeah. All right. Um, what else? LA? We, uh, again, we, we've become known as, uh, and we call it the, the AMA train, uh, but we, we've become pretty much, uh, experts in, uh, AMAs. I mean, I think that's another, uh, 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 reason for our success is that we've been very transparent. We are very communicative. Uh, we always keep people in the loop. Um, I don't know what uh, what do you think about our, our AMA series? And you know, yeah. now we're we're down to, to twice a week rather than every day. But uh, I still think we do an amazing job communicating. Uh, I I think our AMA trains are some of the most loved. Um, I I love organizing them and being a part of them and attending them. You always kill it. The energy that you bring is just. I don't know, out of this world when we have those crazy weeks where we have 5, 10, 20 AMAs. Um, I don't know how you do it. You're losing your voice by the end of the week, but I just love them. Uh, I think that they bring so much to the table. And uh, we've got another one coming up towards the end of the month, which is awesome. Um, and then we're going to have another one come Fusion launch, which is amazing. But yeah, the the AMA trains are some of our our favorite moments for sure. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. And again, I mean, I uh, uh, and, and this is more alpha that I don't know if I've ever shared this either. But uh, at, when I was in high school, uh, I was in a magnet program for television and film, and so maybe that's why I'm a little bit more comfortable uh, in front of the camera. Uh, and so, but it's been amazing, uh, really. And I see a lot of our our influencers. Uh, and what I consider friends now uh, joining us today uh, in the chat. Uh, and, you know, I think that we were one of the first protocols to actually dox ourselves, uh, especially for me as a team lead. And I think that really, again, showed that we were here for the right reasons. Uh, two years ago, you know, there was uh, all, you know, anonymous developers and nobody was getting on camera, again, with the, the regulatory uncertainty. Um, uh, and the way that we did 
uh, launch EMP. You know, we, we have everything set up legally. Uh, we've, we've talked to, you know, council, and we never had an ICO. We never had a pre-sale. Tokens were simply just minted uh, based on, you know, the uh, Genesis phase. And so I felt comfortable enough uh, to dox. And I, again, I think that was a really important uh, decision in our success and really gave people confidence. I mean, we're, uh, we're not scammers. We're, we're here for the long run. You know, yes, we may have had some, you know, uh, uh, turbulent waters and, you know, some people may have lost, some people may have won, but overall we are just continuing to develop and continuing to build. And those that have been here for the long run, uh, are, are, are easily, you know, uh, 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 coming out uh, ahead. Uh, and that, again, is another part of our ethos is that we try to do everything we can to make uh, a protocol where everybody can win. And uh, typically in crypto or any sort of traditional investment uh, opportunities, there's a winner and a loser. And with us, we really try to uh, implement healthy uh, economics to where, you know, they're, they're, we all grow together. And uh, a lot of that culminated in SparkSwap, which uh, we can kind of talk about next. I know, you know, uh, uh, again, those that have been around may remember this, but we had always talked about building a protocol uh, on Pulse. And it was eventually, uh, or was originally going to be another tomb fork. And, you know, uh, knowing what we are learning, what we did with EMP, you know, we didn't want to just launch uh, another protocol that maybe do maybe would do well for a year or two. Uh, and then, you know, we'd have the same issues that we're facing now, um, having to transition to, to Fusion. And we didn't really want to release Fusion ahead of, uh, on Pulse ahead of, of, of EMP. So rather than that, we spent many, many sleepless nights uh, really coming up with something that would strengthen the entire ecosystem. And rather than being a distraction or, uh, you know, another undertaking that, uh, that you know, divided value, uh, we wanted to have a protocol that fit to actually make our other parts of our ecosystem that much stronger. And so uh, we settled on a DEX. And again, other than you know uh, having a layer one, uh, uh, an actual blockchain, uh, a DEX and a bridge uh, are the most lucrative uh, quote unquote businesses in crypto. And we thought, you know, uh, why not have one of the, the, the leading DEXs uh, on a up and coming chain like Pulse uh, and have that revenue feed our ecosystem. Uh, and that's how SparkSwap was born. So uh, we started as a traditional uh, AMM uh, or just you know a yield farm uh, on top of Pulse X. Uh, but by merging with the DEX Finance team and getting a lot more uh, help in the development front, uh, we were able to actually become uh, our own decks, and that was always part of the plan. Uh, but we were able to do that within the first few months when we originally thought it would take, you know, a year or two. So, uh, LA, I know, you know, even in Spark, uh, a lot of people thought, yeah, this is EMP, you know, uh, saying one thing and doing another, or it'll never launch. Uh, just like Fusion, we still had a lot of haters uh, that didn't really understand the decision uh, to launch Spark, and now. I think those people are finally realizing that uh, we are playing chess instead of checkers. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you want to go over that a little bit? For sure. For sure. Um, we started planning a, a Pulse Chain project quite a long time ago. Um, and then when we finally started building it and talking about it more, um, there was a lot of uh, anticipation for it and a lot of people got... Um, excited and you know we're asking when 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 like the the typical question that everyone loves to ask um and it was this question of you know is this is this gonna get delayed and get delayed and get delayed and um great things do take time to develop um and i think we've proven that with spark swap um we took our time to make sure it was absolutely bulletproof and Yes, we were launching a, a yield farming protocol, but I think everyone can see here 
that we've done it differently. We've done it in a way that's been very sustainable and very successful. And we're five months after launch. We're still over four times the launch price. Uh, we still have people, I mean, more than ever, we we have people getting excited and momentum is building in, you know, people talking about SparkSwap. And I get messages from community members all the time just with their excitement about, you know, how well they're earning on SparkSwap and how excited and thankful they are for that in in the anticipation for Fusion and, and how, you know, we can take as long as we want to build fusion because you know they're they're happy with how SparkSwap is going and as long as we create fusion right they know they're they're happy with however long it'll take um obviously we are building fusion as quickly as possible we want to get it out very soon but um that being said SparkSwap has been a really big success it's something that personally I'm very excited about and and really happy that we launched in the order that we did and we listened to our, our guts. Um, especially now, um, today was a big milestone. We hit $1.1 million in daily volume in our decks. And just a reminder that um, a percentage of every single swap and every single bridge transaction is going to flow directly into Fusion. And so everyone invested in Fusion is going to benefit from that volume on SparkSwap. And that's why we launched in the order that we did, because we wanted to have established revenue streams with revenue already flowing into Fusion from day one. We wanted to have our community growing, the buzz growing, the reputation building. We wanted all of it happening in anticipation of that fusion launch so that it could launch in an ironclad, rock solid way. And I think we've done exactly that. Yeah, amazing, Ella. Great recap. And it's 100% true. I mean, we we use this term a lot, uh, and that is real yield. And I think other protocols uh, are starting to use that. But they really don't know what that means. And, you know, we've seen this uh, wave of protocols that, you know, have a tax on their token uh, or just simply burn their token. Those sort of things are not real yield. There has to be actual real revenue produced to support an ecosystem that doesn't require just new users. And obviously, you know, with any business, uh, if there's no users, there's no there's no uh, protocol. But uh, you know, we we definitely rely on new users. However, with the real yield, again, like Ella said. Uh, over a million dollars in daily volume now, you know, 0.3% of that uh, is actual fees that we're taking uh, from swaps and bridges and, you know, uh, uh, again, uh, the actual uh, uh, actual real yield. So that there, there's a big difference there. And that was really fundamental into, you know, the success of, of not only Spark, again, because some of the fees uh, also feed Sparkler, uh, which gives the Spark token, you know, uh, uh, real, real utility and real value because you're earning part of the protocol fees, but also feeding into Fusion. And, you know, uh, I think that is the next wave. Uh, we've definitely spearheaded that. Um, but I think, you know, in this next bull run and beyond, we see a lot more DeFi protocols focusing on real yield, you know, uh, another great example again is uh, a recent partnership with uh, uh, Monstro's Degens. Again, that is a, a very high risk uh, ROI type platform, but they are using part of the funds to farm and actually produce real yield. And that is a great example of, again, even high risk platforms utilizing the ability to, you know, uh, earn without any new new uh, entries or participants uh, in the ecosystem. So um, uh, definitely educate yourself on that, uh, you know, with other protocols and really where the money comes from. Um, because at the end of the day, 
you know, and again, we've, we've been very transparent about this. Uh, the money has to come from somewhere. And, you know, that's something that we, we didn't get right uh, 100% in the first uh, iteration of EMP. Um, but now with EMP Fusion, you know, we've corrected a lot of those issues uh, and, and everybody is set up for success uh, when we finally do launch. And we have all these massive revenue streams feeding um, the ecosystem. So yeah, really bullish on that. Again, we, we can do a whole AMA just on how excited we are. Obviously, LA and I, you know, uh, uh, are, 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 uh, uh, we, we know what's coming and we try to do everything we can to, you know, convey that to all of you. But we've done, uh, or LA has done an incredible job with the uh, video series uh, explaining what Fusion is. So if any of you that aren't familiar with Fusion, please make sure to read the white paper. We just recently updated the white paper. We have some great how-to uh, explainer videos. And yeah, I mean, again, without trying to overhype, uh, I think what we're super excited for Fusion. Right, LA? Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I think we'll go into it more, but I just... I just feel like in a year from now, we'll be on a similar party um, reflecting on how different DeFi is as a whole because of the existence of Fusion and how much higher the bar is now set. And that makes me really happy because there's too many rugs out there. There's too many projects that come and go because they don't have strong economics or it, it was slapped up and put together too quickly without the proper security checks or, you know, this or that. And uh, strong teams, strong communities, strong economics, strong security and innovation on top of that um, should all be important parts of DeFi projects. And they should have all of those things. So um, I'm excited for us to raise the bar and uh, to be having that conversation in a year from now. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. And again, I think that the, the final, you know, uh, uh, variable in all this is what it means to be an emperor and really our community. And I think, you know, that is the, the unsung hero in all this, obviously without the incredible community and support that we've had, we would never have gotten to where we are. Uh, so I do think it's really important that we highlight that, uh, you know, all of you, again, that have been here, whether it's been from day one or, you know, uh, you're, you're, you've only been here for a week. Uh, I think that we have really done an incredible job um, uh, assembling some of the, the, the brightest people in all of crypto uh, and a community that really does care. And, uh, you know, back to our, our partnerships, we've had some incredible partnerships and one of those partnerships is with Splinterlands. And for those of you uh, that don't know, I'm an original Splinterlands whale. They're one of the OGs in the space. Uh, uh, you know, uh, basically the first play to earn game back in 2014. Uh, and we've been, I've been along for the ride ever since. But one thing I learned at Splinterlands was the importance of community. And even outside of crypto, um, uh, even in my real world businesses, uh, you know, I, when we started the art gallery that I spoke about earlier, we, we did that in an area that was essentially an economic wasteland uh, where, you know, the, the shopping center that we were in uh, had an 80% vacancy rate and it was an old town that people had kind of forgotten about. And uh, we were able to build that business through an incredible artist community. And I've always been super passionate uh, about building community. And that really, you know, flows over into EMP and, and what we call uh, our emperors and empresses, uh, and now Sparkies uh, as well. Uh, and really, it's that sense of community that really, you know, solidifies what we're doing. And I think that, you know, uh, protocols that really give the attention uh, uh, that is deserved and, and, and are fully transparent. They are, you know, uh, forthcoming. They don't call their community stupid or lazy. You know, uh, they, they take onus of uh, being a leader. All of those things are 
extremely important when it comes to the success of a crypto project. And, you know, I'm just, I'm honored that, you know, we have, again, assembled some of the, the most incredible people uh, in crypto and, and frankly, you know, in the world. I think that we have a ton of like-minded individuals that all have the same goal. And to be a global product, uh, you know, we, we have, again, uh, united uh, uh, from all over the world. And we're excited for that this year as well. I know we've talked about doing some in-person events. Um, we're hopefully going to be able to release some alpha uh, about that. Um, and LA, you actually uh, did a few in-person events. Again, speaking of Splinterlands, uh, you were out there for... Uh, Splinter Fest, and you went to Consensus last year. So maybe just talk ah. a little bit about uh, some some of our uh, amazing community and what it meant to to meet some people in real life. Yeah, um, that's definitely by far my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, thing to look back on out of everything we listed today. Um, just how incredible of a community we have. We truly, truly could not do this without you. Um, we have the best admin team, um, that helps out so incredibly much. We have so many people in the community who constantly raise their hands to help, whether it's with answering questions in the chat and always being there to help, whether it's doing the notes or the timestamps or just the positivity that they bring in the community. Um, you guys are amazing. Um, we, we truly always notice and always appreciate, and we can't say it enough how amazing of a community EMP has. Um, we've done our best to really facilitate a really positive environment. That's something I think you know by now that I'm really passionate about, and you guys really help to keep that a reality. We don't like negative people in our space and it's by far the most positive space in crypto that I've experienced at least. And I love that. Um, meeting some emperors in person was so awesome. Um, I've gotten to meet a few this past year and it's, it's been amazing. Um, I hope that in 2024, I get to meet more of you and we get to, like AJ just said, do some in-person meetups, um, maybe an, an emperor event. That would be amazing. Um, I, lo I love it. For sure. Yeah. And that is all in the works. Again, uh, we, we may have some alpha on that in the coming weeks uh, for sure. But uh, it's on the radar. And again, I mean, moving into Fusion, uh, that will you know, uh, bring a whole new, you know, uh, momentum behind what we're doing and get a lot more eyeballs on the ecosystem. And with that, you know, we want to get the word out, uh, both, you know, digitally and in real life. So really excited to, to move into that as well. And there's no better time to, you know, uh, do in-person events and get excited and, and party uh, then during a bull run for sure. So uh, that's again part of the plan. So uh, all right, awesome. Well, again, we have a, a, a. I know we don't want to go too long today. We definitely have a lot, a little more to go over here. But um, you know, uh, I'd love to also invite anybody that wants to come on and say anything or ask a question or give some input on what it means to be an emperor uh, uh, for them. Uh, please feel free to request, uh, and we can bring you on. Um, you know, uh, I do just want to kind of uh, give a little more updates on Fusion. I know a lot of you uh, are, are still super anxious on that. Um, you know, we've been 100% transparent this entire time. We continue to be transparent. Um, uh, there is a lot of moving parts when it comes to Fusion. And although a lot of the base code is finished, uh, we just we have to kind of tie everything together and we have to make sure that when we do tie everything together, that everything is working as intended. And that is really where we're at right now. Again, our development team has grown dr dramatically uh, over the last few months. We have now uh, officially, uh, you know, for lack of a better word, merger, uh, merged with Dexfy. Uh, their development team has been hand in hand, both in uh, uh, SparkSwap and uh, 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 
uh, Fusion. Um, but our lead dev, Jake, uh, again, Jake and Jake, uh, Jake from Dash Fine, our lead dev is Jake as well. Uh, he has been really, uh, you know, building uh, Fusion from the ground up. And because all these contracts are specific to our code base, uh, he is the one that really has to make sure that everything works together. And so, you know, it's not a matter of us delaying on purpose. Uh, obviously, we thought that we would be able to get a date out sooner than later. Um, uh, we, we don't mean to continue to, you know, string things along, but there are a lot of variables. And, you know, a lot of that also had to do with setting up the infrastructure, the revenue streams, you know, uh, uh, making sure we're tested, making sure everything is bulletproof. And like LA had mentioned earlier, that's another thing, another feather in our cap. Uh, EMP as a protocol and SparkSwap for that matter, uh, but over the last two years, we have never ever had an exploit. And that again is, is a major testament to the due diligence and testing and uh, uh, you know, uh, big brain developers that we have, um, because we, we, you know, measure a hundred times and cut once. Um, and that again, sets us apart. Uh, yes, it may be frustrating because it adds to the development time, but at the end of the day, you can rest assured that we have looked at literally every, you know, worst case scenario possible and accounted for that. So, uh, you know, obviously on our anniversary, we would have loved to come on and, and had a date. Um, we're not at that point yet, unfortunately, um, but we are getting closer every single day. And, uh, you know, we are in the final stages. Again, we have uh, uh, literally developer meetings uh, almost every single day, uh, and we make headway every single day. So, uh, again, LA, I don't know if you want to add anything to that in terms of fusion or what we have coming, uh, but yeah, go ahead. Um, I think I kind of said what I what I had intended to say. Um, For sure. Not sure what else to add to that. Okay, awesome. So, yeah. so if you want to come on at all and uh, share anything from your experience for a couple minutes or say what uh, you believe it means to be an emperor or share a story or anything, just uh, click the button to raise your hand. Um, otherwise, feel free to type a question in the comments section as well. You know, we have a couple on there to answer yeah no doubt so and i can while we wait for people to do that uh again you know just as a a final reminder and again this is more of a a recap and a celebratory uh ama uh, or twitter space but uh, i do want to just give one more gentle reminder that you know with that being said about fusion we are extremely close and you know it's not a call to invest uh it's not a you know a uh uh, uh, uh I, told, I told you so moment, uh, but we, we, we will see a lot of people that have not taken advantage of getting EMP and eShare at discounted prices um, uh, and then complain, you know, once we do announce a date uh, that they missed out. So just don't be that person. Again, a lot of you have your bags packed uh, already, and that's amazing. Uh, you know, even if you were one of the ones buying eShare at $1,000 or, you know, EMP at PEG, uh, we've always encouraged uh, DCAing or dollar cost averaging. So now, you know, with, with things uh, closer to a bottom than a top, uh, it may be a great idea to lower your cost basis uh, and DCA in. Again, not financial advice and never, ever invest more than you can afford. And, you know, that takes a lot of pressure off you as a crypto user as well. I think everybody thinks today they, they want to get rich quick. Uh, we talk about getting rich slowly. Uh, and I think, again, if you have a long-term mindset uh, with everything that we're building, uh, both you know, uh, EMP, Spark, and L1DEX, there are many opportunities to uh, have life-changing gains uh, over the next 10 years. So uh, just stay involved, stick with us, continue to be part of the community, and over time, we will all win together. And that is my personal commitment uh, to all of you, uh, for sure. So, uh, all right, Ella, do we have anybody that wants to come on or any questions? Um, you tell me, because it will notify you they're raising their hand. All right, I think we had Vino, but I, don't, I think he may have had to go. 
We may have taken too long. Uh, I don't see anybody I, else. Is Rena? Uh, cool sheet. You have a request for a little performance if you're up for it. <laughs> yes. I wish I could play the, the video uh, for Cool Sheet. Shout out to Cool Sheet. He, uh, he's been one of our amazing content creators and uh, done some incredible videos for us. Emperors, we would love to hear from a couple of you, so don't be shy. For sure. Let me see if we have any other requests. All right, I think we have one. All right, here we go. Cool sheet and Rob. Let's see. Cool sheet, go ahead, brother. You there? And Rob. Check, check, check. Mike, check. There he is. <laughs> What's up, brother? How What's up, man? <laughs> hey, happy anniversary to everybody, man. Thank you, Cool Sheet. You got it, brother. Always happy to have you. I, uh, I don't know if you have uh, time for an impromptu performance, but uh, I know that you know you've been a, a major supporter of the ecosystem. That's right. We appreciate you, man. Bro. I've been here since I just looked today. I was, I've been here since day six. I bought my first EMP at a dollar and thirty cent, and uh, man, it's just been a pleasure, man. Being part of the, the VIP group, uh, Spark Swap. Made some great gains on Spark Swap. Oh my lord, uh, man! Use the bridge almost daily. Man, I'm all over. Man, making videos. Uh, those are so fun, bro. Hey, you know, I probably wouldn't have done if it wasn't for this team. Uh, you know, thirty six fifty squad. That's what started it, right? Thirty six fifty squad. We swear, job making check gains. The secret sauce. That's what I'm talking about, boy. There's your improv Hell right yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, bro. Oh, man. Right on, Cool Sheet. You know we love you, brother. And yeah, man, again, really happy to see you uh, bite the bullet, create a YouTube channel. And, you know, we're happy to support you, bro. And uh, we got to get a, a Fusion uh, song next, brother. That's uh, in the works, right? Ooh, yeah. uh, I cannot confirm nor deny, my friend. <laughs> All right. Awesome, Cool Sheet. Right on, brother. Well, thank you for being here, man. Thank you for all the amazing uh, content that you've, you know, selflessly given to the protocol. And yeah, man, everybody check out Cool Sheet. Uh, cool Sheet, you're on YouTube, right? Just Cool Sheet. That's it, Is man. There... Just Cool Sheet. That's right. Yes, sir. Come see me. All right, man. Uh, congratulations again on the two years, and I'm going to be here for another two years. All right, brother. Perfect. You got it, man. Great to hear from you. We All right, there you have it, everybody. Yeah, right, LA. We love Cool Sheet. <laughs> well, AJ, LA, this is Rob. I have been, I don't know if you can hear me. Uh, yeah, Rob, go ahead, brother. Absolutely. Hey, I, I absolutely uh, can't say thank you enough for what you guys do for all of us. I've been part of EMP from not quite the very beginning. I remember looking into it um and there was some fud at the beginning from one of the founding for sure founding people you know and and i had to kind of check that out and once i got you know my feet wet and i remember the peg the the peg dance i remember uh you know the beginning of the detonator the beginning of the reactor uh, all of the the detonator as a service, I mean, it, all of that was amazing. And the thing that was amazing about it, yeah, I've been in crypto for, I don't know, four or five years. And, and when I first got in, I got excited. And then the bear market just bashed me against the rocks. And I literally just stopped paying attention. And, and it was, it, there's no doubt in my mind that it would have happened again if not for EMP, if not for the weekly AMAs and all the information and all the upbeat uh, options that you guys provide, the work that you put in, um, I was hesitant to join uh, and get onto SparkSwap because I, I just wasn't sure about Pulse Chain. I just didn't know exactly what that was. And, and I got involved in SparkSwap. I don't know. It's been 102 days not that i'm counting exactly how many 3650 minus i got i got into it but, <laughs> yes, but it is I love it. it is uh 
it's been amazing. It's been amazing. And I'm just so pumped about it. Um, I mean, if anybody is still sitting on the fence, I mean, I, I, you know, I moved my, my bags that were in EMP ETH that were on the, you know, BSC chain. I moved them over and, and I love interacting every day. I like not having to do it at four o'clock and five o'clock and six o'clock. Like I got to do my DOS contracts, but, um, but I, I just think it is awesome. And I, I, the, the future is so bright with fusion and when, and the thing that I think is going to be amazing is when, when you get the, when we get to peg and we get that protocol ripping the way I know it's going to rip because I've seen it rip on spark swap, then all of the other projects and all of the stuff that we're involved, that you guys are involved in and, and that we get to be involved in as a community through L1 decks or whatever those things are going to be, there's going to be so much power. I mean, I, I think back to when the, the NFT projects that you put forward that, you know, we all broke records and, and invested into, and I've got a few of those, um, you know, I, I think there's a, a huge amount of power for, uh, for this community. And I just want to say thank you, AJ. Thank you, LA. We, we, where you lead, we will follow. Thank you. Uh, amazing, Rob. Wow, brother. Rob. Yeah, yeah, that means a lot, man. Much love to you, bro. And yeah, I mean, you brought up some amazing points. So yeah, I, I cannot agree more. I think, you know, uh, obviously it's uh, it maybe a little bit of uh, bias coming from the team lead or, or LA, uh, but from you, Rob, I mean, I couldn't agree more. I think once we do recover pay, it's not an if, uh, it's when. I think the, the economic momentum behind that, the fact that we will be, uh, that will be newsworthy in itself, uh, not to mention just the gains uh, that people are seeing. And another thing you brought up was, you know, how uh, impressed you've been with Sparkler uh, and SparkSwap. Uh, we've said this many times too, EMP Fusion is essentially sparks, uh, Sparkler on steroids. And we accomplish that again through uh, staking the asset. We get rid of the, the prisoner's dilemma where we're worried about people dumping on our heads. You have up your EMP uh, uh, or, or you know EMP LP uh, or eShare, any, any asset that we uh, allow you to sacrifice. And that gives you ownership of the protocol um, and then that ownership determines the rewards that you get uh, and this model is just so much more healthy uh, in terms of you know again removing that prisoner's dilemma and we've seen it play out again I'm I'm a big believer in data uh, not just promises and you know we've seen the success that Sparkler has had and that is the precursor to fusion so uh it is a proof of concept that has been working flawlessly uh and again i, I think that those that are paying attention um uh, have taken advantage i know uh, like you said rob you may have been a little hesitant to move over to pulse but you know if you have emp ETH lp you know uh the the apr on spark swap is uh uh quite a bit better. Uh, and yeah, with the bridge, you can bridge right over, uh, start earning some spark. Uh, you know, you're gonna, you're not gonna earn any e-share uh, because you're not in the, the EMP farm. Uh, but you know, that spark can then be put into Sparkler, you earn some PLS and then build your bags for fusion that way as well. So yeah, man, some really amazing points, Rob. Appreciate Absolutely. you. Absolutely. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you guys. Awesome, brother. <laughs> cool. So yeah. I, ahead, yep. I just thought of something obviously that um we we most definitely need to celebrate and include um during today's celebration um he, he doesn't get talked about enough because he works behind the scenes but um we we can't hold a 2 year anniversary party without giving a huge huge celebration and uh and and uh, props to our developer Jake he's the absolute goat uh, he uh, has been with AJ since day one on this and uh, 
we couldn't do it without him. And he's just absolutely incredible. So he deserves uh, some recognition and celebration today. And I just wanted to take a moment and say that uh, while we're in the midst of this party. For sure. Yeah, no doubt. And again, those of you uh, that, that know Jake or uh, at least have heard of him, he, he definitely prefers to be, you know, behind the scenes. Uh, he's definitely a bit shy, uh, but he is a, a genius. And, you know, we've had a relationship over the last 10 years. I, I would never have gotten involved in any project uh, without and not only the skills that Jake has, but really the integrity and, you know, really trying to do the right thing and create amazing uh, products and opportunity uh, in the DeFi space. And so, yeah, major shout out to him. Again, uh, he likes to stay uh, a little bit in the shadows, so we respect him on that. Um, but, uh, you know, he's obviously, you know, uh, just as passionate about uh, our community. You know, LA and I are a bit more vocal, but he shares all the same ethos and uh, mentality that we do. So we love you, Jake. Shout out to you as well, brother. For sure. Um, did you happen to get a request from Hot Llama? He'd like to come on and speak. All right, let's see if Hot Llama, one of our detonator defender uh, highlights. Uh, I did not. I don't know. Let me see. Let me check. to meet last year, so that was exciting. Yeah. Hot uh, Llama, I don't see your request, brother. Maybe you try to uh, sign off and sign back on and then request again. I don't know. Do you see him in the comments, LA, or in the chat? Let me try to find him. I do, yes. He's got the llama. All right, hang on. Yeah, for some reason, I'm not... Not showing up on my end. Maybe you can do it if you're a co-host. LA, will it let you invite no. him up? No. No. All right. Maybe, like I said, uh, Hot Llama, maybe sign off and sign back on and then request again and we'll try to get you up. All right. Is there any written questions or anything in the meantime, LA, or... Anything you want me to check, I'll look at the, the comments as well. Yeah, there was a written question I was going to ask. Okay, so um, so this one, you've already answered a lot of it, so I'm just going to ask you part of it. Um, what goals do you have that you want to achieve in this space, and how far do you want to go with them? And what advice could you give newbies in the crypto space? Yeah, for sure. So again, I mean, I, when I started EMB, you know, uh, the the uh, visions of grandeur. I mean, obviously, you know, whenever you start uh, something, and and I'm a builder, so like, you know, uh, I always have uh, pie in the sky uh, dreams. But honestly, we've outpaced. Uh, the success. I mean, you know, to be the number two DEX on Pulse already uh, in terms of SparkSwap, to have 50 million TVL at one point uh, on EMP, I mean, we have been absolutely crushing it. Um, uh, but for me, you know, it wasn't about the, the legacy or the glory or the fame. Uh, if anything, you know, I, I uh, sometimes I wonder if I'm a little too uh, 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 available. Um, uh, but the idea is that. Again, it's about showing people how to be better DeFi users. And at the end of the day, even if EMP or Spark uh, or, or anything that we do uh, didn't, didn't succeed or wasn't even a thing, as long as we were able to uh, teach people about crypto, empower them. Again, I touched on it earlier about being the great financial equalizer, where it doesn't matter you know, if you uh, uh, are you know, here in a, 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 you know, a first world country or a third world country, uh, you don't have to rely on banks. You can, you know, truly be in control of your own financial freedom. Uh, and the only thing that is a hindrance or a, uh, a determining factor in your success is the amount of work that you're willing to put in. And uh, I think that, you know, again, I, uh, there's this uh, very sad uh, uh, um, 
uh, mentality in crypto that people are here just to get rich quick. You know, they're looking for that next uh, 10,000x. They gamble on on meme tokens, and really, again, that is the that is not what DeFi is to me. Uh, and I think that it's up to us to really highlight the projects that are here for the right reasons, that are building very innovative uh, tech uh, and, and actual real world, you know, use cases and utility for Web3. Um, and those are the projects that deserve the shine and the, the you know, uh, support moving forward. And so with that, again, all of our partnerships that we do, uh, we continue to highlight uh, those sort of teams. We, we've always said that we invest in teams, not necessarily protocols, where, you know, uh, as long as they are willing to build and not give up, uh, the sky is the limit. And I think, again, as the space matures, uh, again, the ETF was a big step in that. I think, you know, moving forward, there's going to be a lot more interest in crypto. Um, you know, I think there will be some uh, regulatory uh, uh, developments as well, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, it's, you know, remains to be seen. Um, but I think that, you know, th there is no more going back. And, and you know, crypto is bigger than any, you know, government, um, and it's here to stay. And, you know, I think over the next 10 years, we're going to see massive amounts of capital flow into crypto. Uh, and, you know, we're all here. We're all early. Again, if you're hearing this AMA and you've been here uh, even a week, uh, let alone two years, you know, you are the 1% of the 1%. And we're going to continue to do everything we can to, you know, uh, 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 journey through this crypto landscape together. So, yeah, that, I, I just, that's my, uh, my, my long answer. But, yeah, Ella, you want to add to that? I don't know. What, uh, what is your, your uh, mentality? <laughs> I think I think these are, are AJ questions. There's one more, but uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> but can you see his request by any chance? Let me try one more time. I see it. I just all right. Hang on one second. Let me. Um. Yeah. Hang on one. I think I found it. Hang on. All right, I still am having some technical difficulties. LA, I invited you to be a co-host. Um, Did that work? If you can add, no? No, I'm just a speaker, so. Um... All right, let me look one more time. Sorry, Hala, my man, I would love to have you on. Let me try one more thing here. Bear with me, everybody, apologies. Yeah, I'm still not seeing it. It's crazy. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we can get him on. Let me try one last thing. But was there one more question, LA? See if you can make me a co-host and then I'll try. Okay. All right, I invited you to co-host. Okay, I'm now a co-host. Okay, so let me try. Now, where is he? Hot Llama. There we go.
We did it. All right. Where there's a will, there's a way. There he is. Now it popped up immediately. Hot Llama, are you there? Uh, yeah. Hey, can you guys hear me? Hey, brother. How are you? I'm yes, awesome. I, you know, I, I was like typing like what I wanted to say to the community <laughs> into a message so you could read it for me, but you got me in, so I appreciate it. Yeah, brother, no doubt. So we'd love to hear from you, man. One of our OG members and uh, uh, our, our hot llama uh, on the hospital bed. Uh, again, for those that don't know the inside joke, uh, hot llama was ready for surgery, uh, I believe, and uh, asked the doctor to, to hang on while he compounded. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, right? right, hot llama? Go ahead, yeah, man, yeah. you got it. That was basically right. You know, so... Uh... I get into the I get into EMP. Um, I think it was March or April. Um, so I wasn't in right from the very beginning, but I had my surgery in May. Uh, I was having my right hip replaced, and man, it was like I was in. I was like, man, it was crazy, and I was like compounding, and we were at peg, and I was earning, and it was fantastic. And uh, my big message was, you know, regarding that, I've I've continued to compound and and DCA into into the DOS contracts and anywhere in the EMP ecosystem uh, for this entire time. And I keep doing it. Uh, and it's only like little tiny bits maybe, but you know, it's grown. And, and guess what? I've won the, I've won the lottery in, in um, uh, detonator like three times, like and it, amazing it brother, year, yeah, you know, totally. and I won like three times and I won, I've won the, uh, uh, the, the generator lottery a couple of times. I, I, I did win the, um, the largest, um, uh, uh, deposit of uh, for the uh, eShare BNB, uh, uh, right? So uh, reactor, right? So I can't remember the names all the time, but uh, you know, I've got to say this. You know, like I'm so I feel so lucky to have found this community uh, and 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 this AMA, and you guys like are like so like on it like all the time. And you know, the AMAs used to be a little bit more like when we did everything just through Telegram, right? Like it was a lot of people jumping on talking, Jesse and Joe, uh, Florida Joe and a lot of, you know, a bunch of folks and all the time. But like it's gotten, you know, and I know it's gotten harder for you guys because you've been so busy. LA, AJ, you guys just kill it and um, don't know how you do it. And, but boy, am I thankful. And, and I hope the rest of the community is too. You guys are great. Uh, and, and, you know, you just keep, uh, not only do you guys build and innovate and create, you deliver and deliver over and over again. And, you know, for people that may be new here and they're like, oh, I'm tired of hearing this fusion weight. It's going to come. Gonna... It will come guys. I mean, it will happen. This team delivers. And while it, you know, while that stuff's going on in the background, you know, getting us up on pulse and taking the opportunity when pulse chain launched to get something on there, like so fast, uh, an opportunity to earn while we're waiting. Like I, you know, Pulse is like an animal, man. This thing, um, uh, Spark Swap's an animal. It's just killing it every day. And, uh, you know, I, I, now I grant that I haven't, I haven't moved a bunch of EMP over there. And I, I've staked some, man, with some ETH. Um, but I've been, like, I really haven't been putting the energy there. And maybe I should to yield a little bit more. But I, I like your earning the e-share that I'm earning in EMP uh, farm. So I, I keep it there. But, uh, and I've been building, you know, wherever I can. And, um uh, <clears throat> I lost a little bit of, uh, I got, I got fished a little bit in my wallet. AJ, if you remember, and I lost a little bit of, uh, I, For lost sure. my little, yeah, I, lost my, I lost my EMP bag and my e-share bag that I had been like building up like over for like a half a year. Um, <clears throat> but you know, like, and there were people in this community that, that I reached out to and were just so helpful and helpful in getting me like back on track and, squared away and like uh, reducing the risks going forward. Cause you, it's a live and learn game around here. You know, you just got to be here and experience it to learn it. And uh, yeah, and I'm back in and I'm like, built, I've built up my EMP again. I've built up my e-share again. Uh, you know, not as much as any, any of us would like, we'd always like more. Right. But, um, and who knows, but I'm into, I'm into the nodes, you know, uh, I'm in, I bought bonds. Um, I'm into every part of the ecosystem and, you know, the just think about how the UI had changed. Remember, you know, like what it was like in the beginning, you know, the, the user interface changed, like I don't know, a couple of times probably, right? And the amazing job that you've yeah, done uh, with the with the user interface for for EMP, I was blown away, completely blown away when that launched. And like, I can't wait to see Fusion, right? Like, uh, it's just amazing. So and sometimes it feels like it's complex, uh, but if you stick around, you listen, and Fusion, if it feels complex, it's okay. It, this, this, 
um, this community and the people here are here to help us learn, teach us, academies, videos. No one else is doing this. Uh, you know, creating an ecosystem where, you know, projects that are earning over here are feeding like our bags over here. Like it's who's doing this. Right. So I'm just like so grateful and I uh, love you guys really. Um, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm in here all the time. I don't always, you know, what raise my hand, and ask a question, but I'm here every twice a week. If I can get here twice a week, I listen. If I don't, I, if I miss the AMAs, I go back and I, I replay them uh, because I just, you know, I just feel so connected to this community and I got into the VIP, which is great. Uh, and like, again, you know, the community there, but I, you know, before I, before I stop talking, I'll say one thing about Jake who's behind the scenes. I think I maybe saw him one time on the AMA. He came in and I know he's like such a, this guy's an animal. Like the stuff he's pulling together, like he's gotta be like, he can't sleep. I can't imagine it, but, um, and we, boy, we appreciate it. And, um, and that one time, though, on the, on the AMA, I, I don't know if you were there that night, AJ, but I wanted to say this. I don't think I've ever seen AJ and Jake in the same room at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yes, brother. Yeah. I love it. They're the same person. Right? So. Yeah. Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah. I love it, yeah, brother. But, yes, I cannot confirm nor deny. That's right. Right? I cannot yeah. confirm it. But, boy, you know, and, and, and we're poised, you know, like the, the bull's starting to happen. Things are pumping, p pulse is pumping, and so is the spark price with it. I mean, all the things you talk about, all the mechanics that, and things that you put in place, like no BS, guys. This is the real deal. And, you know, I can't wait to see what it's going to be like a year from now, right? We're in the middle of this thing. So thanks for everything, guys. Love you guys and appreciate everything you do. Uh, and I love me and, hey, if you think L.A. sounds really hot, you don't know. I met her in person. I'm just going to say, like, I'm, I don't want to get creepy here, but that, you know, I'm just letting you know, L.A. is uh, really hot. So <laughs> you can't, um, you guys, you got to yeah. meet her at, at one of these events. I'm, I'm looking forward to, like, a meetup. So uh, and I'll just stop it there. Thanks. All right. There you go. You got some admirers, L.A. Uh, I love it. So uh, we love L.A. for her good looks and her brains. Uh, love so, love. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Halama. Much love, brother. And yeah, we absolutely have to get together. I know we've, we've tried to get together here in South Florida uh, twice now. I promise that it will be this year, brother. So yeah, thank you for all the support, man. I want to give a shout out to Hot Llama. Um, when I met him at Splinter Fest, um, he he won um, a, a competition, a giveaway to win a ticket to come, and he came. And um, he was an attendee, but he understood the assignment. <laughs> he stayed at our table for EMP. Uh, him and I and uh, a giant cardboard cutout of Willy Wonka AJ and uh, he all day long acted like he was my co-host with the most like he spoke with every person that came along and talked to them all about EMP and was on the computer showing them detonator and was just such a huge help to me that day and uh, just was so great to spend the day with so Shout out to you, Hot Llama. Thanks, LA. Thank you so much. No doubt. Very dedicated. Thank you again for all the continued support. And yeah, like Hot Llama said, I mean, it's been a grind and that's part of the journey. You know, obviously, you know, we, we always try to uh, teach security and, but even me, I mean, I have lost to phishing scams and that is your, your, uh, you're you're putting in your dues uh, as as a crypto user, and yeah, I mean, moving forward, anything we can do to help people and help the community, and like Hot Lama said, after that, people reached out. You know, uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, Joe PV Trader, who's the hard wallet expert. Uh, you know, uh, 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 Stinky Beans uh, is always there to help in any kind of uh, you know uh, uh, with any issues that we have, and so. Yeah, that's another, again, there's a lot of un unsung heroes uh, in the community. Uh, and again, I think Hot Llama exemplifies that. I don't want to forget people, so uh, I'm not going to go through and name. Um, but a lot of you know, you know, uh, some of the OGs that have really helped shape, uh, you know, EMP into what it is for sure. So I'm convinced that Stinky Beans might actually be for people because... 
the man never sleeps. <laughs> totally. He always, there, he always has the perfect answer to help everyone. And he knows everything about everything. I think that he is either an AI or he's four separate people. Shut he up, is. Beans. I know. I agree. Shut up, Zicky Beans. He, uh, he is. He's, he's just never quit, <laughs> for sure. So, uh, awesome stuff. All right. Do we have any other... I know we have a, a major giveaway, uh, but do we have any, any questions or maybe any uh, last minute alpha we want to share? I don't know, LA. What do we have? I thought that while we wait to see if anyone else raised their hand, we might do our giveaway. What do you think? All right. That sounds good. I'll let you uh, undertake that. I know we've been pretty... Uh, pretty uh, honest that we're going to cherry pick uh, the winners. I mean, we, we've had a ton of people that uh, have really gone above and beyond helping us spread the word. So do you want me to uh, talk about some stuff while you do that? Or how do you nope, want to do nope. it? I'm already, actually. I've oh, got amazing. loaded into All this right. really fun wheel on the computer. So you're going to be able to hear the sound effects and everything. Um, so although I did very much cherry pick um i went through all of our social media accounts and um it's very clear who has been the most active in supporting um all of our posts not only the last like two or three posts on each uh, account but just going back some distance um our youtube our twitters our dbank everywhere um, I picked out six names, and uh, there's three prizes. So I'm going to spin this wheel, and uh, we're going to go in a specific order where the third one I pick is going to win the grand prize. So here we go. Uh, so our All first right. winner is going to win five e-share. So let's see who this is. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah. So, uh, the winner of five e share is Donnie Diamond Hands. Congratulations. All right. Congrats, Donnie. Right on. <laughs> okay. Our next winner is going to win. $250 worth of EMP, which works out to 3125 which you will be able to apply to that peg bonus, which is going to be very juicy if you uh, do the math, which I will not because I am not a mathematician. Yeah, totally. But that, we always get in trouble for our math on the fly. But yeah, you're looking at at least a 5x for short. Here we go. Ooh. I'm going to wait till the applause because I like that sound effect. <laughs> Atlantean, congratulations. Always wow, congrats, Atlantean. Always a supporter, always leaves uh, comments on Twitter, YouTube, everywhere, every single time, whether or not there's a giveaway. So, congrats. Yes, another OG member. That's awesome. Super happy. Um, our grand prize winner is going to win $500 worth of EMP, 6,250 EMP. We've got four names left. Let's see who gets it. <laughs> Ephemeron, congrats. Oh, right on. If everyone got it. Nice. <laughs> um, to, to Tiberius Stinky Beans and Jay Rizzle, I'm going to personally send you each 100 EMP from my personal holdings just for being amazing. Amazing. Um, and I'll match that to LA. So, yes, yeah, send me the wallet addresses. We'll get it out. <laughs> okay. Amazing. You guys all rock. Um, I am going to write this down. I don't forget, actually. Yes, and uh, to any scammers that might be listening, obviously those are all OG members. We have uh, the proven track record with the actual winners. So 
Uh, don't even waste your time. <laughs> so, Donnie. Um, yeah. So for the winners, I'm going to reach out to you uh, through DM on Twitter through our EMP account. And I have all of your accounts already on uh, on our socials. So scammers don't even think about making a fake account because I already have them. And I'll be reaching out to them immediately. So congrats, guys. Woo! Amazing. Amazing giveaway. Uh, thousands of dollars in EMP, uh, especially when you can't count the, uh, the peg bonus. Again, uh, I know... Uh, uh, I think a lot of those winners will go and put that directly into the fusion sacrifice uh, when we're ready. So we're super excited for all that. And uh, yeah, man, what just amazing day, LA. I'm so humbled and grateful for the experience that we've had over the last two years. I wake up every day just with a love for uh, working for the community and, and you know being involved in uh, crypto full time. Again, uh, you know uh, my number one priority is being a great dad and a great husband. But uh, EMP and Spark and L1 Dex is a very close second uh, to all that. So uh, LA, it's been an incredible journey with you. And here's to another you know not only two years but uh 10 years more uh of this DeFi journey together so yeah any yes. uh, final words that you have go ahead yeah. yes and uh a big shout out to you our faithful fearless leader um not only a great leader but a great friend and um on a personal note, just um, someone who inspires me and uplifts me and challenges me constantly to be a better person. And um, I've become a better person in your presence because you uh, push me to do more than I even thought was possible for myself. And you push me to do things that I'm scared of. And you help me build confidence in new areas that I haven't tried before and you push me to do bigger things. So um, you're an amazing mentor, an amazing leader, uh, and uh, a class A human being. So <laughs> uh, shout out to well, you. Thank you, Ella. You're going to be emotional here. We so, all yeah. love you. <laughs> we love you too. And we love, I, I feel the same way about each and every one of you. It's been not only, you know, uh, uh, a working relationship, but it's been a great, uh, a, a, met some of the best friends i've ever had uh and in, in crypto uh which is crazy to think you know you you make these relationships with people that you've barely even met in real life but it just goes to show the power of what we're building and uh you know again that like-minded individuals that we've we've uh conglomerated uh, with everybody involved so uh and yeah i absolutely cannot do without you uh again the the ama train would not be possible without la uh and everything that she does behind the scenes so yeah yeah and also a shout out to the other jake and the guys at dex finance um for sure we truly have a dream team now with combining our teams and, and working on the development uh together moving forwards um, we truly have, uh, someone to do everything and someone to cover all time zones. <laughs> and, um, it's the development, uh, in 2024 is just going to be insane in the amount that we're able to accomplish. So very, very, uh, excited about that. And they deserve a shout out as well. Yeah, absolutely. And again, how Lama said, uh, the original Jake is a machine. Well, now we've finally been able to clone uh, Jake in terms of his abilities. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we, we're going to be able to develop a light years ahead of what we were, uh, you know, and, and, and not only that, but developers that are talented and trustworthy. And those two things are very rare uh, together. So we're, we're super excited for that. And yeah, I can't even tell you uh, the amount of development work on the roadmap. It's just so bullish.